a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? So they have Chloe in this room. Hello, Chloe. She likes fluffy animals now. And it's so weird because I'm so used to having her in the attic. That's a serious heat lamp. Well, not in the attic, more like the second floor, but... Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? The picture's still she there, too. She can't even feel the grass now. Uh, can she even feel anything? Never mind. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh, man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. That's fucking insane. She can't even breathe on her own. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? Did There's you? There's the old Chloe. A mouth-controlled what? Whoa. Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. Okay, a nice little scenery photo. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, you know we love you, and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face soon. Please be well. Ryan and Vanessa Clawfield. Thinking of you. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Thinking of you. Deal, Chloe. I am so sorry for what happened. Know that I am here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better, and I hope to see you again. XOXO, Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'll drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame running shit like I hope you are well, etc. I know your life is so different now, and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. <laughs> Love, Max. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. A wiener t-shirt. Lord have mercy. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. No, you didn't. You did not put her Max in the chair. so cool that you're here again. Oh, I'm glad Lord. you think so. Snow globes are taking over. You didn't put her in any weird chill, bro. It's like shit happens. And it sucks how... Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. The fact that that dough is still there, like a reincurring. Damn, let me get her some water because she is choking. She's like, <laughs> drink up, Buttercup. But it's not your fault, Max. It's not. It's just oh, that. No wonder my throat is dry. We're ex exploring the possibility of the whole year. what would happen you if William about didn't die. A podcast or something. I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast. Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Didn't. It was just a thought. 
I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Pirates yeah, of the right. Caribbean! Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. Shit. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. Stop putting yourself but down. Be I more proactive with your actions. Right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Nice. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Good deal. Me. You're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. Hey, See, nothing wrong with that. A human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Aww. Oh my god, that's so cute and adorable. Lord. Alright, let's, uh... Ooh, the drawers. Let me see. Let me look. Ah, here's the DVD. So what's the other drawer? Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power? Lord! I love it. That's so cute. You know what? I want to go on the computer. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. Let me see. Black Flag Tribute Band. Dorothy Twister, Low Pan's Eyes, Pisshead. I can't stand these That's names. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Welcome to Hot Wheels chat room. Oh, Lord, I love it. For your safety, do not give any personal information to any person in this chat room. You are responsible for knowing the chat room rules. So what are you doing? Talking with you. Haha, <laughs> no shit. I'm about to binge on Quantum Leap. Oh my god, love. Scott Bakula rules. So do you. Hope we can meet soon. Not if you're in San Francisco. Hey, I have to take care of some body work. Let me get back to you while, while you're binging on Bakula. Better. Hello? That's cute. Making friends and shit. I assume this whole place is like the garage. It has to be. All right. Uh, DVD player. Now we have a movie night. Hell yeah. Where's the popcorn? Where's the candy? Me and my, you know what? I always tell my work wife, we gotta have a movie night. So let's see. Because I would be the one to bring some snacks. But then again, she herself is a snack to me. Da -dunch. Look at these two. Two peas in a pod. It's amazing. Look at Chloe. She's just watching Max. Mm. 
they both fell asleep together. That is so cute. So, Kawaii! Wait a minute, where's... Okay, Chloe's right there. Damn, girl, y'all don't sleep? Then again, do you even want to sleep? I know for a fact if I was in that situation, I wouldn't be like... I would have like a hard time sleeping. Damn, Chloe, you coughed dumb hard and she woke up. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. Mm. You okay. are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? Damn! It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my morphine. My swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Yo, I'm about to bum rush right now. She said morphine, my boy. That means she is in immense pain. That's horrible. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Yes, you are. How are you going to ask him bills. that? <laughs> Get Bye. In. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her and be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. Oof, I Insurance bet. helps, but... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. That is <laughs> fucked up. But we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? <laughs> no? That is so fucked up how he has to mortgage his own home just because the health insurance doesn't want to help them. What's the point? Being around you and Joyce again is so... Nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Damn, I have more choices? Hold on. Um... I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. 
Huh, like so you know, that uh, hasn't changed. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. It is. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. That is so weird. Wait, hold on. Yeah, right. I cry like a bitch. Hold on. Uh, Max, thanks again for taking me to see my mom. I think she wants you for a daughter instead of me. I think not. Your mom is a badass like you. Yeah, right. I cry like a bitch. So did I. You just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets old. My super phone's about to die, so call me back. What? Hold on. Max, you busy girl. Avoiding homework as usual. I told you I'll help you out. You never let me help. Okay, drama, stop. And you help me by, by caring. I do try. By the way, I scored that killer bud from you-know-who. FYI. Save me a bowl. Got a balance. Talk to you later. Come by my room tonight. Yo, they are weed buddies. Yo, yo, Max, you around? In the dark room, developing shots for the p contest. Sweet, so no two wells for you. Not yet, I'll see you guys later, though. Peace out. That is so weird having Victoria and Nathan as friends. Uh, let me see. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Maxine, this is your mom. We need to talk about some of your bills. Are you there? Yes, give me some time to answer. I can't just text in every class. Some teachers get super pissed when people use their phone. Yes, because it's super rude, and please don't be so snippy. Sorry, a long day of homework. You're not the only one, and that's why we're wondering if you need to spend so much. We want you to have everything you need, but your scholarship doesn't cover everything. You said I could use your credit card when I needed it. I only brought film, not a camera. Maybe it's time to go digital. I'll call you later. I have to go. Don't pout. Love you. Hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Mummy. Hello, Max. This is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use this number. She would love to hear from you. See you soon, I hope. Bye. Damn, that was three months ago. Wait. April, May, June, July, August. Five months ago. Hmm. Hey, Chloe, Maxine here. I know it's been a while. I just wanted to let you know I'm going to Blackwell Academy now. I hope this is still your number. Max is back. Blackwell, that is so awesome. You rule. Best of all, we can hang, out, hang again. So, yes, this is still my number. Cool, I've got a buttload of homework, but we'll get together soon. Don't tease me, it's been too long. I know, I'll see you soon. Huh. Hey Max, it's a shame that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Alessa, I saw you throw that TP at me. OMG, I was so not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. Huh. This is so weird. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Dear Mr. Price, this letter is to notify you that you are in default of your payment obligations on your home loan, account number 783. This current account holds the amount of $12,000 payable by August 1st, 2013. This amount has been overdue since March 1st, 2009, and you have ignored multiple requests to make a payment or reconsolidate your debt. Unless the full amount of 12000 is received within 15 days, you must begin the foreclosure process on your home. We have given you more than adequate notices on this issue. We have no other options left. Best Donald Clamp Lenders. Damn. These whales are just a preview of Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. I'm not going to bother to read that because it's like, okay, she's missing. The end. 
Okay, so upstairs. Let's go. I wonder who has this room. Wow, it's so crazy. Chloe's room is so bare. It's like... I don't know. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. No, it's not, because it's reminding you of your butterfly effect. At least we effect. never had to hide from step douche. I guess we stopped growing up together. Literally, figuratively, metaphorically, like, I got it. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. Same here, I'm not used to seeing Chloe like this. I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. You didn't do anything though, all you did was change I one detail. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. Of course it's cruel. And it's gonna be but a hard pill to swallow. Again, and who am I to judge? It's the lesser of two evil evils. Either you let William live, or you give Chloe back her life. So, that is going to be up to you, Max. I never heard much about William's brother. Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work, these, the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Bill. Your brother, Aaron. Huh, I totally didn't Jeez. know he had a brother. The Chloe thing is... Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. You mean to tell me this whole time the brother isn't really in Toys? her life like that? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. That's a horrible uncle. They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk again. Damn, this is so... Depressing. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I am so sorry that I can't help you with alone at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes. Shut the hell up! Let's get out of here. That shit pissed me off. All right, so the bathroom we go. Right here. Can I turn on the light? Thank you. So where is, uh, oh. How's it going, time tripper? Funny, I think I look older. It's the stress, honey. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. The fact that you have to give her morphine... The bathroom looks almost the same. Says a lot. Just more medicine. Uh, I don't know. Nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. Is that that hemp medicine? Because, you know, weed helps. Oh, let me turn off the light, because, you know, I don't pay the light bill, so... It's bad enough. I wonder... It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? I wonder if Joyce is here. I just love how I'm oh, barging Max, into so nice to have you her room. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. Wow, that's insane. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. Yo, I'm well, just opening up the so drawer. Hard. He's still awesome. Super dad be the family hero. That's cute. Anyways, let me talk to Joyce. Hey girl, hey. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. Oh. I remember. <laughs> It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. 
I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, hmm. Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... she do you know what I'm saying? She's dying? No choice. She's dying? I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Yo, Bad change back, good. Max. I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. Hell no. I'm changing I have it. to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old man. Aw, daddy's Ooh, little girl. Choice. Shit, things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but... Nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? No reason. Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Wow, but she's working two jobs. I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc maybe arcadia bay just wants to be left alone i know the feeling honestly i don't give a shit about too much outside our house i don't blame you Joyce. except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door so maybe i should care for chloe's sake i better get back to chloe now it's good talking with you Joyce. you too honey but first, let me go through the drawers quickly, because I'm a nosy Joyce little bitch. Joyce is already a super mom. Wow, super mom, lead the family. They both have it, that's crazy. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. And now she smokes? Oh my god. My, my work wife smokes. I tell her all the time, stop smoking. Oh, no. She tells me to, to bug off. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anema and loss of breath. As a doctor, I am committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common with people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Yeah, she's dying. She really is. And it fucking sucks. I can't even do anything about it. I can't even do anything about it, bro. <sighs> I don't like this reality. We need to change it ASAP. Like, come on, Max. We gotta change it. Alright. Let's go see Chloe. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.